what's up guys welcome to another beat making episode it's your boy sd music in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i made this trap beats in fl studio the link to download the beats is going to be at the description below but first let's listen to the track and we'll be right back sd music Boy, we are heading for the pinnacle wherever we like it or not we're gonna get that someday Right, the beat was made using 10 patterns, one automation clip, and two samples. By the way, if you're just joining us, it's your boy SD Music at the studio that is in FL Studio. Back again with another beat making review. On pattern one, we have the arpeggio instruments of the beat. This was played using this sample. Yeah, then what I did is just to um Make sure I put it on the stretch mode so that it will automatically resize to fit my BPM. Then I right click on here, I went to the piano roll and laid out the sequence. That's cool. On, on two, we have a, a snare and a kick and a hi hats racked up or stacked up together to give us the sequence. Then on part on three, we have another version of the kick. On part on four, we have a snare and a hi hat. Okay. The next pattern, which is part on five, we have another version of the kick, snare, and hi hats. Then we have uh, another version of the kick and the snare on pattern 6. Alright, pattern 7 we have this alternate lead sound that comes up uh, at interval time in the beats. This was played using Nexus. The next pattern we have the bass. Just something simple on a different octave. And this one. Cool. Then we have the 808s. Eight Pattern 10, we have another version of the 808. That's it for the patterns of the beats. Then let me show you the samples I'm using. The first sample I selected was this one. Yeah, that's a, a typical trap melody or trap sample you know then i'm using this vocal take that i used to formulate the choir sound in the beats i did about some three takes the first one sounds like this weird 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 then the second one Then the third one, yeah, that's it, that's the third one. 
all right then i and now brought it in before that i sent them to the mixer track i actually sent all of them to the same track which is track 11. Then on the track, I added um, auto-tune and some other effects, just a bunch of effects to make it sound more clean and um, at least to to depict what I'm thinking in my head, at least how I want the sounds to go. Then after that, I did this take two. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. All right, after take two, I did another take to complete the acapella. We just take three. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Cool. Now, let's put the beat together and see how it all comes together. We're going to start reviewing the beats from the chorus on. We're going to start reviewing the beats from the second chorus area. of the effects in the master track so that we will we can hear this automation right here is automating this sample for me so that i can have some uh some highs and some lows in the area yeah That's what the automation is doing. effects in the master track now so that we see the difference or hear the difference all right that's everything in the track that's everything in total, that is everything in the playlist. Okay, now we're going to listen to verse 2 of the instrumental and some chorus before we round up for today. Let's go. <laughs>
right guys that's one way of doing it that's one way of creating a trap beat in fl studio i hope we've learned a thing or two today don't forget to give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends that need it and also don't forget to wash your hands very often and avoid touching your face so let's see you next time keep practicing keep learning and peace Someday.